So a few weeks ago, I removed sudo from all of my computers. The computer here at the office where I make most of my videos, my home computer, I replaced sudo with do as. Now, you may be asking, what is do as? Well, if you've ever used any of the BSD operating systems, many of them use do as instead of sudo. It's basically another program that allows you to elevate your privileges. Basically, it allows you to execute a command as a different user, typically the root user. For example, most of you on an Arch-based system know that you need to type sudo pacman-s-y-u to update the system, right? Well, if I had do as installed, I would do do as pacman-s-y-u because again, you need elevated privileges to install, update, remove software. Now on some Linux systems, you may be able to simply install do as and then remove sudo and you'll be fine. But on a lot of systems, you won't be able to do that because sudo is a hard dependency sometimes on core components of your operating system. For example, Arch Linux, which is what I use, uh, Arch Linux has some hard dependencies that require sudo to be on the system. The most obvious one is the base devel package. So if you're doing a standard Arch Linux install, you know, at the command line, typically one of the first things you do during the pack strap portion of the installation is you install your kernel, you install the base package, and a lot of times you'll install the base devel package, which is used to uh, make software, compile software. It has a lot of tools like, for example, make <laughs> in it. So, you know, um, that's a very important package that needs to be on your system, but some of those tools require sudo. They have a hard dependency to sudo, but there are ways to get around that. And today I wanted to cover how I installed do as, how I completely removed sudo from my Arch Linux systems and you know, my experiences with it so far. First, let's talk about installing do as. So on Linux, the package you need to install is not called do as, it's called open do as. It's basically a Linux version of do as because obviously do as was originally created for BSD. I think it was the open BSD guys that originally created it. And it's basically designed for a BSD operating system, which is a bit different than a Linux operating system. So we have the open do as package here on Arch Linux. So install open do as. So let me switch workspaces and I'm going to open a terminal and let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how to set up open do as on an Arch Linux system. The very first thing you need to do, of course, is install open do as. So you have sudo on the system. So do a sudo pacman dash capital S open do as and that installs the open do as package. And then what you need to do also with sudo privileges is you need to do a sudo vim slash etsy slash do as dot conf. So we need to create a do as config file. By default, there won't be one on the system. Create one. It's going to be an empty file. Give it your sudo password. And then what you want to do is you want to paste a line from the arch wiki. So the arch wiki is nice enough to give us this line here. Basically, what this line does, it's easier to read in the terminal, is it permits everybody that is in the wheel group to run every program in this path here that includes user local bin, user local s bin, user bin, and user s bin. Basically, that's where a lot of the, uh, the binaries on the system, the executable binaries, are located. And if you're part of the wheel group, you are allowed to run those with escalated privileges. Uh, you'll have to enter a password, of course. Now, one of the things that is not in the default example here on the Arch install guide on the Arch wiki page for do as is it is permit set env path. And you'll notice I have permit persist set env path. This persist line is very important here because persist, it allows do as to remember your password. So when you use sudo, you know, typically you'll do sudo name a command, and then maybe you have to run the next command with sudo. The next time you run it, you don't have to enter a password because you just entered the password before the previous command. You know, it remembers it for a few minutes. Out of the box, do as does not do that. You know, it, it makes you enter a password every single time you invoke do as. But if you have persist here, then for a few minutes after you run do as, it will remember that, hey, you just entered the password. It won't make you repeat the password. So that gives us a config. Let me go ahead and quit out of that. Now that you have do as installed, you have a do as config, you should then check to see if do as actually works. So do something like, I don't know, a do as pacman dash capital SYU to update the system. Uh, in my case, I just used do as. That's why it allowed me to run that command. On your system, though, that will be the first time you ever run it. 
and you know you're going to get a prompt that says do as a password and then ask you for a password so if do as looks like it's working correctly for you at this point then we can remove sudo from the system so removing sudo is going to be tricky uh, first we need to forcibly remove sudo even though it's going to break some dependencies your system probably will complain about you removing sudo um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to tell pacman uh, remove it and I don't care if it breaks dependencies, still remove this package. So you need to do a dash capital R D D and then sudo, and that will remove the sudo package, even though it's, it breaks base, devil, and maybe some other stuff on your system, do it anyway. And then once sudo is off your system, what you want to do is you want to symlink do as to sudo. So you're going to link and the link command is LN. So LN dash S and run this command here which do as it basically is the location for the do as binary we're going to symlink do as to this link file we're going to create user bin sudo because we already removed sudo from the system it doesn't exist well we're going to create a link to user bin sudo that way when we run a command like sudo pacman dash capital syu it's not really running sudo it's actually going to run do as uh let me open a new terminal so you can see this i'm going to run the command sudo pacman syu and you can see it actually asked me for my do as password instead of my sudo password because every time i type sudo i'm really invoking that link to do as so that is a really easy way to get around having sudo as a hard dependency for some things. Just create that symlink. Now let's talk about some extra niceties that you can add to your system to make your life a little easier with do as. For one thing, there's a couple of functionalities with sudo that don't necessarily exist with do as. For example, with sudo, you also have commands for vi sudo, so you can edit your slash etsy slash sudoers file without the potential for hosing your system because it creates a temporary file that you edit first. And then if there's no errors, it allows you to save the file. If there are errors, it will not save the file. So that's a very important safety feature that sudo has is this vi sudo command when you're editing your sudoers file. Uh, it also includes a uh, command for sudo edit as well so do as doesn't have anything like that out of the box that's built into the open do as package but in the uh, arch user repository there is a do as edit so install that from the arch aur there's no binary build in the chaotic aur so you're you are going to have to go directly to the aur to get the do as edit package but then you know it allows you to run do as edit etsy host and it's going to open your file whatever it is you specified as uh, the, your do as privileges escalated privileges and your default editor which on my system the default editor looks like is emacs in the terminal here let me quit out of that i don't actually want to mess with that file now for vi do as you know if you want a vi do as sort of feature where you can edit your do as conf uh, your config file right with uh, you know without the danger of hosing your system let me give it my do as password here what it does you can see if you look at the bottom of my vim window here right or vi window i'm not sure i think it's using vi as the editor here but slash temp slash do as so it actually created a temporary directory and you know copied my do as config over to the temp directory so we can play with it here and that way we can test it for errors later and if there's no errors then it will save it to the proper uh, do as .com file if there are errors it will not write it to my do as .com file because you don't want to mess these things up same thing with the sudoers file you don't want it to have errors because then it's going to break sudo and that's going to cause you a lot of problems on your system same thing with do as you do not want to break your do as config so it's very important to have this vi do as feature there is no such thing as a vi do as package i could find anywhere but i did find somebody that was very nice on the internet because he has uh, uh, article, a blog post here. This is CJ Jackson's blog. I'll link to this blog article, Replacing Sudo with Do As on an Arch Linux System. And if you go toward the bottom here, he has a script for VI Do As, right? Uh, basically, it's two scripts. 
very, very short scripts. This little script here, just a few lines long, this one, you know, maybe 10 or 12 lines long. You put these two scripts in their rightful place on the system. Make sure uh, you set the permissions right so that you can um, actually execute this. And voila, right? And then you end up with a working VI do as, right? Where you can safely edit that do as.com file. And that's essentially what most people need to know about do as is uh, basically putting uh, the wheel group in the do as comp and then you're good to go. There are some other features. There's a man page. I mean, you can go read the man page for do as. There are a few flags and options, not much, just a handful of flags and options. One of the most interesting one is this capital C flag. What this does, it actually checks if your config file works correctly or if it has errors. So basically checks your slash etsy slash do as dot com file. Matter of fact, that's how the VI do as script works. If I take a look at it, let me uh, vim user bin VI do as. If I take a look at that script, uh, that's not the one. It's the other uh, file here, which I'm going to have to be root. Only root is allowed to uh, view this file. So let me switch over to the root user and CD and CD on the root user will put you in the root directory and then CD into script directory. And then in here, there is a file called VI do as. And all of that is explained in the CJ Jackson blog. That's where he suggested sticking these files. So that's what I did here on uh, my system here. But basically, if you look at the VI do as script, we're creating a temporary directory, do as dear equals this temp directory. You know, we're making a temporary directory, put a file there, right? And then we play around with our file using, I'm using nvim. And then finally we do a do as dash capital C. Remember, do as dash capital C checks if your config file works. And so it's checking if the do as file, the temporary file it just created, so it's treating that as a config file. Does that config file work? If it does, echo valid config, and then it copies that temporary file over into our do as.com. But if it's not a working config, echo invalid config, and nothing happens, right? It just gets rid of the temporary file we were working on, and our existing config that still works is still on the system. So that is vi do as again i'm going to link to all of that in the show description so there you have it you know replacing sudo with do as uh completely removing sudo and putting do as on an arch linux system it's not that complicated it really is just a handful of very easy commands you can be done with all of this within about five minutes and i've been doing this for a few weeks now on my home system on this system uh i've done this with the new dtos Linux distribution I've been working on. I've been building DTOS here for the last few weeks. I've been testing some ISOs. A lot of you guys have been testing the ISOs. I have not run into any problems with having only do as on those systems. So uh, everything seems to be in working order. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Matt Steve, 40 millimeter, Cap Caveman, Darlof Lee, Jersey Killer, Mark, Methos, Erion, Paul, Peace, Arch of Dora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, War, Gentoo, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick episode about how to replace sudo with do as, it wouldn't have been possible. The show's also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software like OpenDoAs, Subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.